I am the mysterious host Erilyn and you're watching PaulTan.org, Malaysia's number one automotive news website. And welcome to the 2014 Beijing Auto China. We are finally inside and this is one of the halls out of the nine halls that are available here at the Beijing Auto Show event. So as you can see around me, there are plenty of brands. There are about 2,000 manufacturers participating in this event and more than 1,200 cars that are on display. As you can see, there's DS Spirit, there's BMW, there's Lexus, Mercedes and it's all going to be covered just for you. Uh, hopefully, we'll also get an interview with any of them uh, if we are able to. And so let's go, let's go check it out. at the Chevrolet's booth and as you can see behind me that is the current Chevrolet's cruise but what we are here for today is the 2015 all new second generation Chevrolet cruise so let's check it out one of the biggest difference design wise is that the headlights are sleeker and slimmer Going down the body, there is a sexy feature line that curves downwards and at the back, the rear light cluster is updated to look more like its older brother, the Chevrolet Malibu. The new Cruise comes with two engine options. One, the naturally aspirated 1.5 litre with central direct injection. Or if you want more oomph, the 1.4 turbo with central direct injection that is mated for the all new 7 speed dual clutch gearbox or if you know it as DCG. With the blue background behind me, you can tell I am now at the Ford booth and today they have just launched the Ford Escort uh, which debuted as a concept car in the 2013 Shanghai Auto Show. It is positioned between the Ford Focus and the Ford Mondeo. Uh, we are fortunate enough to get Andrew Collinson, the exterior design manager uh, for the Ford. So maybe you could just share with us the design concept behind this car? Yeah, so this, this car we've designed actually specifically for the Chinese customer and the Chinese market. Uh, we've taken all the one Ford design philosophies of the, the very proud one uh, trapezoid grille that you can see on the front of the car. We've lifted that up, we've changed the angle slightly so it's more harmonious and cleaner for the, for the customer base here in China. The whole car is, is a lot more elegant and set and a lot longer and, and uh, the research we did with the Chinese customers about harmony and cleanliness in terms of the design. We've increased the space in the rear of the car and uh, opened up the way that we've sort of focused on the design of the dashboard so you get a lot more ruminous inside of the car oh, and again a yeah. lot cleaner design. Will it be coming to Malaysia anytime soon? At the moment this is a China only product so uh, but it's, it's up to the bosses to, to All right. help you out. Alright thank you so much. And finally, we are here at Kia Motors, where we are going to introduce Kia K4, which shares a platform with the Hyundai Veloster and have a similar powertrain. And of course, to complete the package, it comes with a push-start button, which is quite common in new cars nowadays. 